Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms, and today I wanted to talk to you about uh, some ideas I've been having for spring projects here on the farm. Specifically, I wanted uh, to upgrade the antenna on the roof for my CB radio. And uh, you know, I'm searching around, I have an Antron A99 or a SolarCon A99, and I've had it for many years, and I was thinking maybe if I added a ground plane kit, that would give me a little bit more, uh, more distance, a little more boost. Anyway, I'm, I'm researching on YouTube, much like most of you guys do. And I came across this gentleman, Marcus Adams, and uh, he had a great video. I'll have a link to both his page and the specific video uh, down in the description area. But uh, they had a great idea. He used an old 4x4 to create uh, basically a homemade mast for his antenna. And uh, it worked pretty cool. It's, I mean, I never really thought of that. And it just so happens that I have some uh, extra 4x4x16s laying around. Uh, I got a bunch of them on clearance a while back, and I've been using them to make fence posts out of, but I have some scraps and a few full-length pieces, So, and I'll show you outside here in a little bit. I went ahead and kind of designed my own tower, and uh, I also used some top uh, railing, metal rails from, uh, like you would have like a chain link fence out of, that I also got on clearance a while ago, I've been sitting around collecting dust, and I decided I could add even more height to it using those because they're quite lightweight. So what I came up with was a, a 41 foot tower, all home built, that I'm uh, designing and uh, I figured, you know, if I'm going to go through all the trouble of doing that, maybe I'll just forget about the ground plane kit on the old A99 because it is going on 18 years old now, so, you know, its life expectancy is probably nearing the end. I don't, I don't know if anyone's gotten 25 years out of one of those, but uh, I'd say I've certainly paid for itself at this point. So I started looking at uh, replacement antennas, and I came up with the SolarCom IMAX 2000, which is a, a 5 8 or a .64 wave antenna, and uh, gets excellent reviews. I figured it's just you know a logical step up from the A99. I've had such great luck with it as far as reliability, then I figured I'd stick with that company. So what we'd be looking at is uh, one of these giant brand new antennas sitting on top of a 41 foot tower. Right now I'm at about 18 or 19 feet off the ground um, where my antenna starts. So that'll be a huge doubling of uh, height, which should help with signal, especially up here in the mountains. Not to mention going with a larger antenna, I increase my dB on reception and transmit. So that should also have a pretty positive effect. Uh, the antenna I'm still shopping on, but the rest of the stuff I have around here. So let's go outside and we'll take a look at it and I'll show you what I'm, what I'm dreaming of. And I'd love to hear your comments or concerns about such a setup. Uh, again, credit where credit's due. Marcus Adams, great, uh, great channel, great guy. And that video really inspired me. I asked him uh, through private uh, messaging how it's working out for him. And he's had no real problems with it. So uh, that's it. Let's go out and take a look at it. So here's what I was talking about. Um, it's 42 feet long. So we have a, a 4x4x16 four by four by up there with a brace, metal scrap piece of bracing that I'll uh, brace to the side of the building right at the roof peak, which is yeah, about 16, 17 feet up. I've got another 9 foot piece here, and I've got those metal braces there that I'll screw in to hold it all together. So that'll give me a total of about... Uh, 24 feet I think it comes out to, 25 feet on the wooden part. And down here I've got two hinges. One will be to raise it, the other one will be to secure it. And I'll have a, a side brace coming off the end so it'll look like a, a T on the bottom. But that'll be the tilt up portion. And then uh, as we walk up here, and again credit where credit's due, Marcus Adams, uh, and here's that link to his channel is down in my, down in my description. He came up with this idea. I'm just copying it, maybe modifying it a bit, but really great idea. I had these 4x4s that I picked up on clearance um, that I was using for a fencing project, and I've used most of them for that project, but I had a few left over plus some scraps. And then I've got these top rails that I picked up on clearance at Lowe's, and those were like $3 a piece, and I have six or seven of them, so I'm thinking, why not take them to uh, a little higher? Each of those is 10 feet long, so let's say we overlap at 2.5 feet and uh, maybe two and a half feet up here at the top. And I could go with four leading up to this top piece if, uh, if people think that structurally that would be a better idea. I've got a few of these. And then, of course, it continues on another uh, couple of feet. At the very tip of this, we're talking 41 feet from ground to tip. So uh, it's not bad, right? For a homemade tower, 
and I probably didn't have you know thirty dollars in. So that's the idea. Again, all this started because I was looking at uh, reviews of the ground plane kits for Antron A99. Now I'm thinking maybe of upgrading to the Solarcon IMAX 2000 to put on top of this thing. I mean, that's, that's a lot of tower. It would give me an extra 20 feet of height from where I am right now. Right now I'm, uh, uh, well, I'm just under 20 feet, so even more. And I could uh, put an eyelet, you know, maybe midway to help. I could hook that to a rope with a tractor and help bring it up and bring it down. And I could also use those as secure uh, wires to secure this thing at the midpoint. Although I think the building would hold it, you know, along the top ridge there. Because most of the weight is going to be underneath it. I'm going to have 8 foot of weight, maybe 10 feet of weight above it. And then those, those they don't weigh very much. So that's it. There's an update for you. What I've been dreaming of, now that the weather's starting to get a little nicer, a spring project. Uh, of course, I need new wire because uh, I only have a 50-foot run right now of that uh, RG213. So I'll get some, maybe a 100-foot run. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Just kind of daydreaming while I'm making this thing. Trying to figure out how it'll all go together. Comments are always appreciated. And if you like the video... Please go ahead and subscribe because there'll be more like it. In fact, this may become kind of a, a build video. We'll see how it plays out. Take care.